Hello, I'm Gus Downing, and this is the D&D Daily LP News Network. And today we have with us Ed Wolf, Vice President of Business Development for WG Security Products, and Tim Gates, Vice President of Sales for WG. WG is a worldwide designer, manufacturer, and distributor of EAS products, and truly prides itself on being an innovator in the field. With their most recent seal tag development, and the rollout making a huge impact being featured on the Today Show and in all of the major publications. This new tag has the potential to virtually stop wardrobing across North America. And with their new Ninja Tag, that's specifically designed for two purposes. Advanced security of box merchandise and complete ease of use for employees. WG security products over the last few years has been making a huge impact in the retail industry. Ed, Tim, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Gus. Ed, first, can you talk mm -hmm. to us about this new SEAL tag and how it's making an impact across the country? Uh, certainly. Uh, let me just let me define the wardrobing as you, as you pointed out. What ward wardrobing is, is when a customer comes into the store, into any retailer, in this case mostly dresses because of party dresses, they come into the store and they, in, they purchase a dress for the, for the, with the intent to wear it to their party and then return it. So it doesn't make any difference what the cost of the dress is because they're not going to ultimately pay anything. Uh, it was featured on a, on a program of Sex in the City a number of years ago and a number of retailers, I mean, everyone who really sells dresses today has a problem with returns or the rate of return on their sales. So in talking with Bloomingdale's about a year ago now, um, they expressed this difficulty uh, to me. We didn't make a tag for that process at that time. So uh, I worked with our design team in China and came up with a little plastic tag that, dis that uh, dist falls, you know, self-destructs when, um, when the customer takes it off when they're about to go to their party. It, it breaks off. Right. It's for easy uh, removal from the dress. Yeah, the customer can break it off without any kind of tools or anything of nice necessary. Um, and as a result, it, they, you know, Bloomingdale's places on, in, a, in a conspicuous spot on the dress. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to wear it to the party, you've got to take the tag off. Mm -hmm. And if you take the tag off, then you can't return the tag. Mm -hmm. Um, that was a, you know, for them it was a huge decision because, you know, returns is a, uh, is a major policy within retailers. And it's sensitive to the buyer and the consumer, obviously, with, you know, I want to return this dress. They're going to be a little more sensitive to that. So. Absolutely. Well, uh, you know, a lot of women will buy dresses, four dresses in a store, go home and try them on mm -hmm. and not intend to use them at a party and mm -hmm. then bring them back. So mm -hmm. you have to be sensitive to that element of it. But in, in this case, they had a, a very high return rate based on the fact that people were renting, if not paying for their dresses. Well, similar to guys, you know, going out and buying big TVs for the Super Bowl and returning them the next day. <laughs> Or when I was at Home Depot buying paint sprayers, spraying the entire house and returning it, telling them go. that they, sure. that same sort of problem. In this case, we have, um, we, they initiated the program uh, last May. Mm -hmm. And in the last four months, they've had tremendous results. Mm -hmm. They've had improved sales and reduced rate and, and returns. If you look at the total sales of, of dresses, of high-end dresses, what percentage do you think from your subject matter expertise is, is returned the next day, like let's say a year ago, two years ago, after the consumer uh, wears it and she returns it the next day. Can you give me a, a ballpark percentage? Well, in certain circumstances, depending upon the, the, the cost of the dress, it can be as high as 50%. So you can, 50% of your dresses can be returned within a week after the person wears it to, to an occasion. That's correct. And this tag eliminates that. that that's correct. Which increases sales. Yes. Long term. Decrease, well, decreasing uh, returns is a direct debit on sales. So. Well, because then they have to buy it. Right. Okay. Uh, and it's gotten some unbelievable press around the country. It's uh, become very effective. Yeah. At, at, uh, and, and we are getting all sorts of inquiries from other retailers now. Uh, good luck with it. Thank good you. Good luck with it. And Tim, being a subject matter expert in the hard tag world, you know, uh, WG just released the Ninja tag. That's correct. 
Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. You know, um, I may be new to WG, but this solution uh, for protecting high-value box merchandise, I've been involved since the, the early 90s, mm -hmm. mid to early 90s, uh, with the inception of this. So I've seen the evolution of this type of solution over the years. Number one, it has a proven ROI for the retailer. Um, some of the facts are, with the product, um, because back in, 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 the, in the early 90s, retailers came to us and said, give us a solution so we can openly merchandise our high-end box products. So that's how this whole product uh, line came about. Um, some of the facts of it are, though, it, it's, it's a retail applied retail remove solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, it, it adds cost, it adds operational issues, and it adds merchandising issues, the traditional products. Mm -hmm. The exciting thing about the Ninja Tag it answers all of those questions. Mm -hmm. So you have a product that's given a proven ROI over the years, uh, but with this type of product, you have application in the stock room or on the floor. You've got removal at the register. Uh, you have training issues mm -hmm. with, the high, with the high turnover of associates on mm -hmm. the retail floor. Uh, there is a, a, a constant issue with labor and, and uh, retraining issues. And you have merchandise flexibility. With traditional cable products, uh, you can't protect every type of box product, okay? So the Ninja Tag is by far the best in innovation I've seen in the industry. Since, and it eliminates all I, those wires it, that go it around. It eliminates all the wires. The time it takes to put it together and, and remove it and so on. Exactly, it is a multi-alarm, mm -hmm. wireless, cableless solution mm -hmm. for uh, high valued bo uh, box merchandise. Mm -hmm. So it, it uh, is easier to use, it is easier to apply, easier to remove, Easier to store. You have storage issues at the re at the register. Uh, you don't have the cables in the in the boxes. Uh, it is it takes up less space, and um, easier to uh, to take into the back room and recycle the product. So it it by far is the is the best innovation I've seen in 16 years in this product in this product category. And what it does, it makes a better shopping experience for the the consumer. Certainly. And it provides a quicker ROI for the retailer. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Good luck with the product. Thank you. Um, Ed, you know, lastly, can you give us a, a short brief history or, or identification of WG security products and talk to us about anything that, that's new coming to the market? Well, the, uh, we've got a number of new, um, new solutions coming this year in 2014, two in particular. Um, one is that uh, as I talk to my contemporaries in the market, uh, customers of ours, um, their big issue is service, is how do we get the product serviced and serviced properly. And one of your former guests has said the exact same thing. And uh, we'll be coming out with systems this year that are self-diagnostic and remote diagnostic. So we will be able to handle about 80% of the issues that we might normally have to send a tech out to the store uh, to fix. We'll be able to fix them uh, within four hours. And that should bring a, 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 ch a huge relief to the issue of, of making sure that you know, your systems work and you can protect your stores. The second item is a new floor system. And this new floor system is, um, is, is, uh, can be applied within a, f a quarter inch grout in the floor. Mm -hmm. So you no longer have to tear up the, or demolish the floor to put a, a floor system in, even you know, our competitor's uh, floor, guard, floor max system or even our old floor guard system. You can put it in the four, one quarter inch grout and, um, and it'll provide better, actually, better protection or has- So less better. expensive, less disruptive on the retailer and quicker and less expensive. Less intrusive. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually pro better, provides better performance than, okay. than the two. So it's excellent for remodels of stores where you then, you want to take the pedestals away, but mm -hmm. you, you don't want to dig up the floor. And, and if you just got, you've just gotten tired or sick of the look of pedestals in, at your mall entrance, mm -hmm. it's an ideal, ideal solution for that. Well, from what I understand, a, a lot of the malls are kind of leaning away from the pedestals and, and they really don't like the look of them. Well, actually, it's, they're leaning pretty hard away from it. They, mm -hmm. th we've gotten a number of uh, major, you know, major mall companies that have said that they, uh, that they don't want pedestals in any of them, mm -hmm. whether the first or second floor or anything. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. And good luck with your products, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for this episode of the LP News Network, and I want to thank you for watching. And like I always like to say, 
let's keep them safe out there.